What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital and today we're doing the clone effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, now that we have DaVinci Resolve open and you've imported your clips, you want to go ahead and open up your first clip. Go ahead and scrub through where you want it to start. About right there. Eye on your keyboard for an endpoint. Let's continue to scrub through. O on your keyboard for an out point. Let's go ahead and grab that. Bring it on the timeline. You want to do the same thing with your second one. Let's scrub through where we want it to start. I want it to start just when the door gets ready to open. About right there. I again. Let's scroll through. About right there. Oh, let's drag that right on top. All right, so let's make sure your cursor's over both of them. Now you want to take the t the clip on top and just lower that opacity a little bit so you can see both clips a little better so we can line this up. So we're going to scrub through. So he's about right there. We want to make sure that he's... Let's go to the where he's looking over at him. All right, so let's scroll this back. About right there. Goes down. Nope. Let's bring it back just a little bit more right here. Mm, a little bit more. All right, about right there. So what we can do, let's go ahead and line these up at the end here. And let's go ahead and trim off the front. All right, so before we head over to the Fusion tab, make sure that your clip that you lowered the opacity on, you put that back to 100%. So now you want to highlight both clips. Right click, new Fusion clip. Let's head over to Fusion. All right, so now that we're in the Fusion tab, let's go ahead and open up this media and over here in the media one. So you wanna find a good spot that you can start masking where you don't cross over at. So this looks good right here. Let's go ahead and put this to one. So you want to grab your polygon tool and let's start masking out. All right, so we've got this masked. Now you want to connect it to your media. You should have something like this. Now we're getting a little hard line right there, so you want to select your polygon, go over to soft edge, and just increase it slightly. About right there. All right, let's kick it back over to the edit tab. Let's let this play through, see what we've got. And that's a quick way to do the clone effect in DaVinci Resolve 17. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification for our future videos, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.